So, um, Marco, you, you um, mentioned um, memory architectures, and this brings me to transactional memory, which is your, is your group, which is chaired by you. So, mm -hmm. is there any update on this? A lot, actually. I didn't okay. give a talk this year at Boost because I, I've, 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 I've been tired and I've been traveling. I've been giving a lot of talks. But mm -hmm. we are now, at, we've, our group meets um, twice a week, once every two weeks, so there's a lot of progress. We, our syntax has now gone through the evolution working group voted and approved. Mm -hmm. um, we have started an official work item, which is how TSs start their life. They start as a new work item, progress okay. through two, um, at least two stages before they get to, uh, um, um, to be approved as a draft technical specification. We're now on the train. We have the words, we have the, we have the syntax, the semantics um, finalized. Now the, only, the next stage is we're going to um, send the words to core group. We're going to have a review June 2nd, this, in about two weeks, um, to review the core wording. That's not it though, because transactional memory is such a broad um, topic to give you composable, um, sh um, um, shared, um, a shared mem mutable shared memory. We also have to make sure we can transactionalize the library, and that's yeah. the stuff that our group has oh, been yeah. working on. So together it's going to come out, the TS is going to come out as a package, both language changes Mm -hmm. and library changes. So hopefully with that, we will be able to offer the world um, a viable alternative to continue doing generic programming with lots. Mm -hmm. Because one other thing that we have discovered in our group is that transactional memory doesn't just offer you a performance um, um, advantage, it's actually a functional correctness requirement. Without it, you can't do generic programming properly because any locks that, ha that, is, that occurs within um, in, in a generic programming call could deadlock and there's no way you can get around that. Okay. Thank you. Sounds good.